So what is it in the French fry that there's so much buzz about the hair loss issue? And actually the chemical in this is a product called dimethyl polysiloxane. And it's used in the cooking oil of the McDonald's French fries and actually in other uh, eateries like Taco Bell and Chick-fil-A to help decrease the frothing in oil. Now this chemical is used in culture media to help cells grow. So what the researchers in Japan have shown is that they take these germ cells and they put them in a culture and it has this chemical in it and they actually form some hairs that grow. And basically these cells or these hairs are then transplanted into nude mice and lo and behold some of those hairs grow. So how does that translate to humans? Well human hairs and mice hairs are completely different and it's not always the same. It's a very complicated issue of getting hairs to really grow in culture. So it's not really proven that this is going to work in humans and how it would work. But it does show some promise that maybe there's a, a product or a chemical that gives us the ability to grow hairs better. Hair transplantation is a great procedure for patients, but getting the right chemicals to help grow them in culture and to grow those and transplant them back into humans is a very complicated issue and we still haven't found out all the answers. So before you go out buying a lot of french fries and putting it on your scalp or eating them, that is not going to grow a lot of hair. So time will tell what comes about from this research and we'll have more answers as we move along.